One gentleman came so, the other day, Protestants. Yeah, uh, Pastor Babel. Yes, they, they're familiar with him. Mr. 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 Who is the former honorary professor of the history of religions in the Faculty of Theology, Protestant Theology? Yes, Mr. Rochdieu is a specialist in Hindu religion. Ah. Monsieur Morel. Morel. Mr. Morel, mm -hmm. who is the um, Theology University <coughs> in Geneva, yeah. Yeah. and who is who directs all of the religious activities for the university. Theology students in Geneva. Our spiritual master is the Bhaktivedanta Swami Kaupat. Say, he had some of our books. Là, vous avez la Bhagavad Gita. The 60 volumes of these books. 60 ans. Là, vous avez une résumé de dixième partie, dixième chant du Shrimad Bhagavatam. Les enseignements du Seigneur Chaitanya, mm -hmm. qui était le premier à propager le chant de Hare Krishna dans la rue, comme vous avez probablement vu. Chaitanya Chaitanya. La Bhagavad Gita qui est l'œuvre principale de la spiritualité de l'Inde. Et voilà l'œuvre un œuvre en cours, le Chaitanya Charitamrita, qui est plus ou moins le, le chef-d'œuvre du Bengal. C'est la Bible du Bengal. Our students. We have our uh, painting workshop in New York City. All of these books have color illustrations. Indian students? No. No. Yes, if our students are Indian. He likes the paintings. He was wondering whether they were done by Indian students. No. American students, under my direction, you can inform about our reception in the higher circle, profession, they have ordered yeah. all the sixty volumes. You have that letter? I have a letter. In English. Are you in touch with Professor Mirce Ayad, who is in Chicago Department, uh, Religious Department? What is his name? Mirce Ayad. Professor Elias? E L I I A D E. He's a Roman. Elias. Professor Elias. Ayad. Ayad. Chicago University? Yes. Right, I've never gone to Chicago. No, no. But is not Professor Dimmick from Chicago? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Professor uh, Dimmick, perhaps you're familiar with Professor Dimmick. He's head of which the East Asian, the East Asian Studies Department mm -hmm. of Chicago University, uh, yeah. has written the uh, yes. preface to this Bhagavad Gita. I've been in the Chicago University in the uh -huh. there. He says he hopes we excuse if he has some basic questions that he wanted to ask. And his first question was regarding Tilak. What is the symbolism, significance? It is just like your cross among Christians. It is temple of Vishnu. C'est le temple de Vishnu, de Dieu. C'est le marc. Not only here, you have got twelve places. Here, 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 here. The idea is being protected by Vishnu from all sides. The shaved head. That is cleanliness. Instead of keeping unnecessary here, you keep very clean. This, uh, these traditions have existed for a long time, he's asking? Yes. Yeah. Especially the brāhmaṇas, they keep the seven head. Brāhmaṇas are the topmost class. What is the symptoms of brāhmaṇa? Find out. Śamo damas tapakṣo ucham kshānti rājava jñānam vijñānam āstikyam brahma karma svabhāvajam Peacefulness, self-control, austerity, purity, tolerance, honesty, wisdom, knowledge, and religiousness. These are the qualities by which the brahmanas work. So, the Vedic conception is that the human society should be divided into four divisions, namely the brahmana, kshatriya, vaisya, and Sudha natural division. 
one section of the human society should work as the brain, another section should work just like the arms, another section like the belly, another section like the leg. These four divisions are essential. That is also mentioned, chatur bandhang maya system guna karma vibhag. Find out this verse. Page 235. Do you have it? Are you going to read it? According to the three modes of material nature and the work ascribed to them, the four divisions of human society were created by me. Just like by nature there are four divisions in the body, the brain, the arm, the belly, all of them require. You cannot reject any one of them. Then it is not fullness. But the brain should be the prime director, managing director. So the qualification of Brahmins has stated, samo dhamo titikha. So at the present moment the society has no brain because there is no person, no person who is qualified like that, samo dhamo titikha. So their qualification, Brahman qualification, find out, faith. It's 812. Well, he says, does this Krishna consciousness message apply as well to the outcasts? Outcasts? There are four castes only. Yeah, but they are the outcasts and they are... Do you, do you mean the untouchable? Outcasts out out means those the who are... Untouchable. Those who are less than the sudras. They are yes. called panchamas. These are four divisions. Mm-hmm. Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, yes. Sudra. Shuddha means laborer class, but they are also obedient to the other three classes. And less than that, they have been described as chandalas, panchavas, or untouchable, as you say. But for us, Krishna consciousness movement, there is no such distinction. Anyone can become Krishna conscious. Uh, the Panchama, the fifth class men, are called chandalas. Chandala means untouchable. So they are also many. Kirato, Hunam, the Rulin, the Pukkasha, Vira, Samba, Jabana, Kasada. So Krishna says, Mani Partha Vipas Sritya, Jeepi Supapa Jana. There is. Mani Partha Vipas Sritya. Read it. Mani Parata Vipashritya J Tishu Papa Yonayaha Striyo Vaisha Tatashu Dras Tepi Yanti Paramgatim. O son of Pritha, those who take shelter in me, though they be of lower birth, women, Vaishas, merchants, as well as Shudras, workers, can approach the supreme destination. So in Krishna consciousness moment there is no such distinction because we are interested with the soul. The soul is the same everywhere. And these designations are different. So Krishna consciousness movement is above designation. 